let's talk about what I think is one of the most underrated geoprocessing tools. It's the union tool. Now, when I was taught GIS, we learned a lot about clipping and about joining. And I used clip in place of union for a lot of things where union could have saved me a ton of time. So let's go ahead and get into it. But first, if you want a more in-depth dive on geoprocessing and the union tool in general, go check out my next level QGIS Mastering Spatial Analysis course. And if you want the data for this course, you can also get it on geospatialschool.com. Um, I have all my YouTube videos there ad-free with data, but let's get started. First, let's take a look at the data we have. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. So we're looking at a watershed in the United States in the state of Wyoming. These red outlines are political boundaries. They're county boundaries. Now I'm going to zoom in to this watershed outlined in black. And inside this watershed, you can see there are some streamlines, some stream segments. And around those stream segments is a 100 meter buffer that represents the riparian area. Now, a common task that you might get asked to do or something similar to this would be to, for this watershed of interest, maybe there's some funding associated with restoring uh, riparian areas in this watershed, you might get asked by an employer or for a school project or whatever it may be to find the area, the riparian area in each county. Now, there are a few ways to do this. One, you could clip the buffered area, the riparian area, to each county boundary and calculate the area. And that'd be great. Then you'd have, um, in this case, it looks like there'd be three separate vector files. You calculate the area for those on the riparian area. But what if we want to have this all together? What if we want to export this into a table or something? Then we'd have to go back and manually add those records or combine files, and it gets complicated. But this is where the union tool comes in. And let me demonstrate what union does. So let's come down here uh, to the bottom corner, and we're just gonna search for union. And we have the union tool right here under processing algorithms. So I'm just gonna double click that. And our input layer is going to be the buffer. This is a dissolved buffer. And our overlay layer is going to be the US counties. Now notice how these have the same uh, coordinate reference system. They're both EPSG 5070, which is a projected coordinate system with units of meters. And I'm going to save this to a file so that you guys, uh, I'm going to save it to a geo package so that you guys can. Um, can all see it. So this is going to be the union output and we'll do okay. Now let me do a quick aside here. I've been using geo packages the wrong way for a long time. Well, not the wrong way but an inefficient way. I'm going to do a video on this on using geo packages uh, with QGIS. Man it's just a game changer for file management. It's, it's awesome. Okay anyway um Go ahead and click run, and then we'll take a look at what this output looks like. So this is going to take a minute. It's going to create a spatial index so we can figure out what's there. It's going to intersect, spatial index again, difference, yada, yada, yada. Okay, now when we look at this, it looks like nothing has really changed. We just have this big colored thing that has a lot of stuff we don't need. Let's zoom out. You can see that it's like just kind of burned in our riparian areas into the counties, and it's really hard to see what's going on. Okay, let's just stop for a sec and open up the attribute table, and we'll see the power in this tool. So if we open the attribute table, and now let's take a look. You'll notice that we have these three features here, and they have some attributes that none of these other features do. And these features have like flow directions, F codes. So these are the riparian areas. Stream river, okay. So what we can do is let's just go ahead and select these. So we're on the left side and just drag down to those three. Let's see what we have here. 
now you can see that we have those select. We have just those streamlines selected. Let's work with just these for a minute. So let's come over and let's right click on this and let's export selected features. We're gonna save, save them to a geo package and I'm gonna save them to the union geo package and I'm going to save this as union output flow line a riparian. Get rid of that thing. And we're just gonna leave this all the same and I'm going to click OK. All right, I'm gonna clear my selection. I'm gonna turn off this layer. And now you'll notice that we have these lines where the counties are. So let's go back in and just check out our attribute table one more time. And if we come over here, what you'll notice is that now, starting here, we have the county information along with the riparian information. And so I can now see for each county, sublet, Sweetwater, and Lincoln. I can come in here, add a column, and calculate area. In the meantime, I'm not gonna do that right now. You can see I do that in the full course. But what I will do is come in and change the symbology to categorized. The value will be all the way down here, which is, I believe it was county NS. And let's classify with random colors. There we go, we can turn this off. We can remove it. Think. I hit delete. Oh, put the minus button down here. And now we can come in here, we could change those names to metro counties. So here you can see that we've successfully broken this shape file up. Um, and to do what we didn't have to create a clip for each individual one. Uh, we just ran that one union tool, and now we have what we're after. So that's the beauty of union. Super, super underrated tool, can save you a lot of time and produce some really, really powerful results. Like I said, if you want to see more about this in geoprocessing, go check out Next Level uh, QGIS, Mastering Spatial Analysis on Geospatial School, or get the data on the video from this video also on Geospatial School, and the links are included below. Thanks for watching.